All right, everybody, here we go. Unprotected left-hand turns, version 12.3, FSD beta version 12.3. Got it this morning, round one. Here we go. Hopefully I got all my cameras working. Pay attention to the road. All right, there's the stop. Creep limits out there. Feels like it's a little far out there. We've got some traffic. Got to wait. There's a nice gap coming, though. Car with a blinker on is going to turn right. It shouldn't go in front of that car because there's another car behind it. Now it's wide open to the left, and it's wide open to the right. This should be a roller. Left lane. Rock and roll. Round one. That was pretty easy, actually. It just waited long enough, didn't have to stop in the median, and the right-hand lane was open. But the behavior of the first unprotected left was really, really good. Choosing the left-hand lane, I'm not noticing the go right, then left that FSD ber uh, beta version 11.4.9 used to do. Uh, hopefully that looked good to you. Let me know what you think. Uh, let's do some more. All right, round two. See what we get. Nice nits of stop down to zero. Slow creep. Needs to get out there to look around this fence. Oh, got an old Willis. Check that car out. Nice. All right. There's a small gap after this truck, and it needs to go to the median if it goes now. All right, it's going for it. So, oh, don't stop here. Don't stop here. Don't stop here. Bad. Don't stop there. Now it's in the median. That was weird. I didn't like that. It was, okay, the left lane is open. The right two are not open. So it can use the left lane now if it wanted. If it goes now, it needs a boost. If it goes, that was fine. Okay, it did it just fine, but that's a new behavior for me. I was used to it getting to the median and then waiting. It crept across the road with fast oncoming traffic that just made me uncomfortable. This is a new version. I don't know what to expect yet. It had the time it needed to cross that slowly. It just wasn't the behavior I liked. Let's try another one. All right, round three. I've got a lead car just to kind of watch it uh, do the maneuver right in front of me uh, and see how he stopped in the median right there. That's exactly what the car needs to be doing. That car is at a very good angle, um, and, and that's what the going right first does. Okay, so the car is going out to the creep line with a car in the median, so it needs to wait. That car is dark um, gray, which does mean it recognizes it as the lead car. So even though I'm out here on the creep limit, we're waiting on that car to clear, it looks like. I don't think it would go behind it um, if it had the opportunity. But now, watch, see that car is dark gray, and as soon as it gets out of the way, it's no longer going to be marked as our lead car, and there it goes away. So now we're just waiting on our turn. And it's coming up right now after this white car, and there is no traffic coming from the right, so this is just going to be a wait and go. So straight across, left turn, left lane, all the way. Okay, so that one was a, a little bit different because we had a lead car to watch to see how the symbology changed a little bit, but the wait long enough, creep out and wait our turn worked out because the uh, opposing traffic from the right wasn't coming. Um, after three turns right now, um, what I want to try to get more of is uh, approaching traffic from the right because that's where that indecision and the speed of it going to the median seemed a little bit slow. Let's try another one. All right, here we go. This time we got a lead car, but the car is going to the right. So uh, we're going to the left, so we just have to wait our turn. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if it does another NHTSA stop or if it's going to count this as our stop as this uh, lead car is just waiting for his gap to turn to the right. But you definitely can see that the median network is still being displayed if it's using the same median network. So it looks like there's another NHTSA stop there and now a creep. So it did a second stop. Okay, we're wide open to the left if it goes now. Okay, it didn't hesitate and we're right open to the right. So I'm giving it some gimmies here. But hey, that's all right. Every scenario has been a little bit different with the symbology so far. But, and it's, well, it's handled all of them um, so far. I don't know, what do you guys think? I got my speed set to auto max, and I haven't had any real speed inconsistencies here. Speed limit's 50, but it's going 49. Um, I don't know, interesting there, but uh, not really what we're talking about on this video.
All right, let's try another one. All right, here we go again. Like a box of chocolates, you just never know what you're going to get. All right, there's our Nitsa stop. Out to the creep. All right, needs to wait for one car. And it's got another wide open to the left here, but an approaching car from the right. And the left lanes are open, and it made its way just fine. So it did have an approaching car from the right this time, but it was all the way over in the right lane, and it chose to go for that no problem. Uh, that felt good. That was another easy one, though. I'm just not getting the traffic density. It is uh, Saturday afternoon, 2 p.m., so not quite hitting any sort of rush hour. Let's try another one. All right, here we go again. Pay attention to the road. All right, there's our stop. Creep here. Got to wait a little bit here. No approaching traffic from the right on this one again. So basically, this is just going to be another left-hand turn. And here's its chance. It should go right there, no problem. All the way into the left lane. I got to figure out how to time that traffic from the right a little bit better. Another easy one. I haven't been able to stomp it yet, but uh, I haven't given it any really tough ones. I need some more stuff from the right. Maybe I can create one somehow. Let's try another one. All right, here we go again. Looking for our slow creep. The creep speed seems to be fairly consistent. I'm starting to get used to it. Um, I feel it needs to go out a little bit further. Come on, creep a little bit more. I, maybe, I know we can see the cars, but I, I want to lean forward right now. It can't, don't make a decision from there. Okay, now it can see. All right, there's a small gap here. Now we got to wait from the right again. All right, this is good. So we got traffic coming from the right. It's going straight across, and now it's slowly creeping out, and my butt's sticking out, and now it can't see. So it can't go. I can't see. I feel like I'm in the lane, but I'm not where I want to be. Uh, I'll show you my repeater camera. I can't see anything. Oh, this is interesting. What's it going to do? I, I can't see. Oh, is it going? Oh, God. Oh, God. It was, God. I, maybe it can see. All right. Well, I couldn't see around those cars. I'll have to look in post to see if my repeater camera showed that it was clear. Um, it was in a better position to see around those cars with that repeater camera way over there than I was. Uh, it committed. And there just there wasn't a car coming, so I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how that looked, but that was a good one. I didn't like the angle I was in the median, though. Let's try another one. All right, here we go. Pay attention to the road. All right, easy one from the left, easy from the right. It's going to make this one in a gimme. This traffic just too light to challenge FSD beta version 12.3, I guess. Um, it's most complicated maneuver. I was blind and it did a good job on so far. So uh, the creep seems solid. It's not inching out uncomfortably like 11 did when it was uncertain. It seems to be going to a good safe location uh, for the creep. That one time I felt it needed to go a little bit further and it did. Let's see if we can get a few more in. All right, for those of you that wanted me to throw in some unprotected lefts from some different intersections, this is the same uh, divided highway, but about a half a mile uh, to the north. I don't have the overhead drone in this location, but the uh, obscuration is through trees here to the left. So there's a stop and a creep it needs to do. The visibility is much better at the creep limit than it is at the other location, primarily because the fence at the other location is the obstruction. I have a good long clear distance to the right here I can see. Uh, to the to the left I can see I'm sorry to the right it's a little bit more um, obstructed interestingly we do have some construction going on over here to the right uh, that you can probably see in the wide-angle camera that is just a little bit of a variable the the cars we have to avoid are coming over this bridge through that stoplight and as you can see there's a lot of traffic coming from the right at this time so it's waiting right here patiently in a good spot it'll be interesting to see if it goes for the median or not we got a lot more traffic coming so it it needs to wait oh gosh don't go there 
okay, it decided to wait. I'm way out here though. Um, so the cars that are changing lanes here into this middle lane are actually changing lanes. Oh, oh my gosh, look at it, look at it. Whoa, whoa, wow. It went for that little tiny hole that I probably would have never gone for. Man. And then it, going into the middle lane here, probably around that trailer. That was aggressive, but you know it was working because that truck was slowing down because of the construction going on. Wow, let's try another one of those. All right, here we go again. We got the same route, the same intersection, a little bit of construction going on to the right. Let's see if the traffic is quite as dense this time. There's our good Nitsa stop, and it needs to creep. It's gonna have to wait. Traffic to the right is uh, non-existent at the moment. So we got a big gap coming from the left, and now we have some traffic from the right. So it should probably go to the median right now. Okay, it's out there and it's waiting. Uh-oh, look what this truck's doing. This truck, what's it gonna do? Okay, all right, I had to disengage there. I don't know if you saw what happened. The um, first disengagement, guys. So that opposing truck blinded it and the car decided to stop in the lane of traffic. So that was the, the reaction that I was afraid of based on that earlier turn where it just was acting like the lane is where it needed to do its waiting. Um, that was a bailout scenario with fast opposing traffic coming towards me. That truck jumped into the lane after it had committed uh, and it created a scenario where it needed to get into the median and it it didn't uh, in the time frame I was comfortable with. So that was a tough one. Um, that truck jumping in complicated it by an order of magnitude for sure. But what I don't like is its behavior so far to pause in the lane of oncoming traffic for to buy time. That's, that's not where you can buy time. So uh, scratch one on that one. Uh, so we can't say it was flawless, but uh, we'll give it one more try and then maybe call it a day. All right. If we get a good one here, uh, we'll call it a day. If we get another disengagement, we'll try to end on a good one. So there's our NHTSA stop. Feels like the red light to the right is red, stopping traffic, it just turned green. Okay, we have cars coming from the left and from the right. So what's gonna happen here is we're gonna have a gap here from the left again. Oh, it's a tight, he's moving fast. And it waited. Okay, so it didn't even flinch on that, that small gap. Don't know if it was because we had traffic from the right or not. So in about another five seconds, we're gonna have another gap from the left and it's gonna be completely clear on the right. So it waited patiently for the right gap if it goes right now. Don't pet, oh God, why did you pause there? Did you pause there because of that car on the other lane? Okay, it had the gap it needed, but it waited again in the traffic flow. It felt like something made it wait, and I think it was that car in the far right lane that it might've been calculating its trajectory on. Um, so it didn't commit to the median like version 11 would have. It's like going for it and then assessing whether or not it's a rolling merge or whether or not it uh, needs to go to the median. Okay, well that is unprotected left-hand turns, about as good as I can do it. And I have to say that FSD 12.3 um, did a really, really good job. Um, not perfect. Some interesting behaviors I need to learn a little bit more about on, on how it's committing and where it's choosing to pause. I have a feeling um, those scenarios are probably pretty repeatable. It feels like it has something to do with the traffic on the opposing side, and it's measuring their trajectories to determine if they're changing lanes and, and all the different things that it needs to assess. But um, that seems to be a factor. The behavior to turn right and get at a good angle in the median feels like it's gone. Um, I'm not sure that's for the best, but it, it might be based on the training data that it's been given that that's how most cars drive it because typically if you're not waiting in the median, you don't need to be at that angle. It's when you run out of room and time that you need a place to hide and that's why having that angle is beneficial. In any case, that's Chuck's Unprotected Left Hand Turns, uh, a whole bunch of them. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Leave some comments below. 
Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everybody.